Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, um, I was thinking uh, at the mining facility here, I would make like a short range teleporter. Because, uh, you know, every time I go down there, I have to jump off of here, you know, land down there in my door, and then make my way all the way back up here. So, yeah, I thought, why not make a short-range teleporter to make it easier? Um, and I was also thinking about adding on another uh, landing pad here, because that could give the possibility for some NPCs to land here. And I got a re comment recently saying that um, if you sell to the NPCs, uh, they'll you won't affect the um, the market in that system, which uh, was something I had actually completely forgot about. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was thinking I'll just add more onto my uh, landing pads here and see how it goes. So um, let's see here. I. I don't have any salvage data, so I'm going to have to go and collect some. <laughs> I expect it's going to take some to make the, I mean, to buy the blueprint for the um, teleporter. So let's just see what it takes to put in a landing pad here. How much of it do I have? I don't have any metal plating. I don't have any ion batteries, and I don't have any microprocessors. Yay. Um, let's see. Do I have anything in here? No. That I should put in my ship. I wonder how good that would be. Maybe I'll put it in a different ship. Uh, actually, you know, I... Oh, that's in my ship. Uh, let's let's just take that out quick. Because, yeah, I got I got one of these. Put that in my exosuit. And put that in there. Why not? I probably should just sell those, though. I don't really need them. And what's in here? And uh, nothing. Okay, I got the metal plating, but I don't have the microprocessors and the uh, ion batteries. I could probably easily make the ion batteries. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's easy. But what about the microprocessors? I need nanotubes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's actually pretty easy too. I got plenty of chromatic metal and I can make plenty of nanotubes. So let's see here. I just need probably two nanotubes. And then I'll need two microprocessors. There we go. And then I'll need two ion batteries. And I have some metal plating in here left over from my base build. Don't need that and that and that. There we go. Okay, let's see. Where do I want to put this? I was thinking about attaching it to this one. Although that's kind of ugly. <laughs> I mean, it actually doesn't make sense. But it feels like it's the best way to put it. And I need to refill my... There we go. Um, yeah, either over here, which doesn't look <laughs> right. It doesn't make sense. But, uh, let's see. Actually, it's probably easier once the storm clears here. I won't... I can actually see. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of able to see now. Over here, we'll get rid of that tree. And over here, we'll also get rid of probably a couple of trees. So, frankly, this would be the best direction to put it. Okay. Well, let's just do that. I can always delete it, and I'll get my stuff back. There we go. Okay. So, here. Yeah, this is good. Now, if there's any NPCs... I know NPCs can land at your base. Um, I don't... Is this them? Are they coming in? Maybe not. Maybe they're just flying by. We'll see. Maybe they'll start showing up here. Um, but now, I need to go and hunt for some salvage data. I don't like that this is like <laughs> completely hovering off the ground. I feel like I should just like put some pillars 
up to it or something like that but uh, I'm not super experienced at building so yeah I'd have to maybe I could maybe like build some walls and stuff or something to go down eventually but I don't need to do it right now since you know things in no man's sky can just hover yes I mean I bet these this little connection right in here is so strong that nothing can break it really <laughs> okay um let's go find some salvage data uh i don't know how much i'm gonna need actually let's just okay I, I need to go to the anomaly so let's just head up to the anomaly first and see how much it is maybe because i can just summon the anomaly right up here Actually, do I have it up here? I have it up here. I don't even have to summon it. Okay, let's head over here. Just get in, in the anomaly and see how much it costs for the short-range teleporter. It does cost... I, th I mean... It might cost almost 10, but I don't know. I have to see. Basically, if you want it, if you're looking for the, you know, where to buy it, you just come to the anomaly, space anomaly, head all the way into the back, which you can use the double boost jump. That helps. <laughs> and yeah, you go all the way back here, not get stuck on the wall. And course back here and to this terminal okay so how much is it going to cost me where is it there we go 10 of them i can get the ta a teleport cable I might as well get that so i'm gonna need 10 uh salvage data and i've only got three so i guess i'm gonna have to yeah i'll have to go get some Actually, is there anything else I'm interested in getting? I will need some of this stuff, but that's going to take extra salvage data. <laughs> oh yeah, I need a galactic trade terminal too. I should definitely get that. That'll be another 10. Maybe I can do an, an, that another time. Okay, well, I'm going to go gather 10... Uh, salvage data and probably be back in a little bit okay I got some salvage data uh, only about 15 actually the planet I was on I couldn't find very much um, so but that's sh that should still allow me to buy the short-range teleporter so I'll get that there we go only two metal plating so that's not bad that's pretty good now I have to figure out how to use it. <laughs> no, uh, just need to build it, put it in the base, um, and probably connect them together. Haven't actually used a short-range teleporter before, to be honest. Let's see. Might as well just teleport to my base quick. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay, it's a lot easier to teleport to my base than it is to fly, <laughs> but I don't understand it. I teleported from the anomaly, and it put me out here, when it should put me at my, at my teleporter. It's kind of weird. So just getting back in here, since it so rudely put me outside. Okay, now I've got my other... Uh, landing pad over there. So I guess I was thinking I'd just put the short range teleporter right here, maybe right in the corner, because then maybe I could put it like really close to the entrance in the uh, in the farm. So I think all I needed was two metal plating, which I have a bunch of metal plating in here. Might as well use it. Just put those back. There we go, and. This I got from a uh, damage machinery. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Uh, wrong button. Now, where would that go? Probably in the tech? Um, let's see. Not storage. Specialist. No. So probably in here. Let's see. There we go, teleporter. Short range teleporter. Okay. So I'll put it right here in the corner. Because I got plenty of chromatic metal and plenty of gold. So that's good. Actually, let's uh, go into build mode camera. Uh, build mode camera can kind of be a little frustrating to use, but I was trying to get a nice placement on this. There we go. Just put it right nicely in the corner. There we go. Wait for it to place. Okay. Looks like it needs power, so I'll have to put some power lines to it. Unless it doesn't, I have no idea. I'll see. Um, I bet I can't use it right now because I think I need to set up a one to go with it. So, let's head down here. Oops. <laughs> it's nice and easy to fall. It's really fast to fall. But what's the problem is getting back up. Okay, um, now, where should I put it here? I mean, yeah, I guess I could put it, like, right in the middle-ish. Like, right off to the side here. Make this, like, the residential area. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it right here. Um, like, right there, probably. Let's see... So, again, I'll enter build ca uh, camera build mode, go up with it, and go a little bit forward. And now I can't see. A little bit backward. There we go. Try to get it at least somewhat straight. And I bet you I'll have an ugly cable coming out the ceiling. There we go. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna need to cable it. Yeah. I instead of power, this connects to the power port. So it's just... Yeah. I don't know why it has a non-powered, you know, sign. But it's just for connecting the wire to the cable to the other teleporter. Can I reach it from here? No, I probably can't. Uh, let me get off that and get out of build camera mode. And then I'm gonna have to wire a cable and run with it. Uh, let's head out. Who knows, maybe I won't have a weird... Do I have to just make this directly? Or can I, like, place it... Wait, I didn't want to do that. Can I put it right here? Let's see. So I can have, like, cable organization. Must attach to structure. Okay, so it has to go directly. So let's head up here. See if I can get in. I should have just went the other direction. Okay. There we go. Okay. Did that do it? Ha! Yes, I'm there. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's nice. And then back. Yes. Okay, now that's quick transport between uh, down here and up there. So it allows me to more easily get my supplies, my my indium. Now I've got a bunch of junk on me. 
wonder if I can fit all of it. Let's see. How much space do I have? Not quite enough. Well, I can fit some in my starship. But maybe I should put some of my junk in my starship. That wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> well, let's just see what I can fit. 148, yeah. I'll have to do that. There we go. Okay. Head back up. Using the teleporter. That makes it easy. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of organization. Just get this off here. It, not in there, but in here. Bring this to there. I could probably just put these in my box as well. There we go. I should be able to sell all of this now because it's on me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's head up and sell this at the space station. I could probably just teleport to the space station. Of course, actually, let's... Actually, let's see. Is there any NPCs that are going to land here? Because I don't see any flying around. So, I wonder, do NPCs land at your base anymore? I really don't know. I don't see any flying around. They used to fly around your base. I know a while back, when I had been uh, playing quite a while back, they did, but I don't see them now. So it's kind of weird. And let me see, can I summon my... another ship onto here? No, I can't. No, I can't summon anything. You should be able to summon another ship onto your uh, landing pad. I mean, yeah, that's going to summon my current ship. It's like, why would I summon that when it's right here? Okay, I'm going to head to the space station. So teleport to the Aguchia space station. And find some NPCs. Okay. Just waiting for it to load in. There we go. Now I just have to wait for some ships to come in. Let's see here. Now, uh, let's see. My current activated indium is down... 5.9% in the demand. So, yeah. It's okay price, I guess. I've seen it lower. And I don't know why it's uh, only... It's not giving me the full amount. Uh, like, it was... Uh, it was promising me 268... Uh, like, 268,000 activated inium. But... I'm only getting 267,975. I don't know why. Uh, if you know why, leave a comment and let me know, because, yeah, that's kind of weird. It doesn't make sense. So, uh, let's see. Here we go. Ship's coming in. And they're not... Not really any good ships. I mean, this one's kind of cool, but... Nothing special. I mean, no, not, not that it's nothing special. It's not very good because it's, uh, uh, like, not a, a C rank. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. I think these two ships are the same, too. This one and the other one next to me. Okay, uh, sell items. Now, I'm going to take, if, you know, if he's going to give me 280 million, or is it, no, 240 million? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, demand is negative 5.9%. So let's check this out. Sell that. And leave, because I don't need to make an offer on a ship. Yeah, this one, that ship is He Touches Ruthless Defeat. And it's a B-29. This ship is He Touches Ruthless Defeat. And it's a B rank at 28. 
yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> same, sh two of the same ship in the system. Any others? Uh, wait, that's the same one. That, that one just left, I swear. Okay, now let's check the price of the Indium. Oh wait, no, I can't check the price of the Indium. Of course. <laughs> I don't have any on me. So, uh, head back to the base. Let's see if I can grab a few out. Okay. Let's go back down here. How many do I have so far? I probably don't have any. Storing a thousand. Well, hey, not bad. Okay. Let's take that out. And... Look at the wall. <laughs> okay. Now, um... I don't have uh, an economy scanner in this ship, do I? Did I install one? No, I didn't. Let's install one quick. I need microprocessors. Why do I not have microprocessors? <laughs> I have so few of them. Okay, um... Just make a few of them here. Just need nanotubes, so I need five. There we go. There we go. Nope, wrong button. And... Right here. And there. Okay. Uh, that installed right, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Let's do a scan and go to a trading post and see what the percentage is there. So, you press X and scan for trading outposts. Oh, is that like really close to me? Well, nine minutes away. Let's get out here into space. And how, how far is it now? Nope, nope, I don't want to go back down. Use pulse drive. Get there in two seconds. There we go. So just get down here. I know, I know that I saw when I was trying to sell my activated indium in my, in the first episode that I, uh, harvested it. I know it was a lot more expensive on, uh, trading posts than it was at the space station. So, let's see how much it is here. So, just head in here. I'll probably just keep this amount on me. It's, it's probably not worth selling here. Okay, let's see. There we go. Negative 13.2%. So, yeah, I just sold 267,000 activated indium to the NPC guy. And it didn't increase. It didn't reduce the demand. So that's pretty good. That makes it easy to sell your uh, stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to sell this for 13 per minus, minus 13.2 percent. Why would I do that? Okay. Any other interesting ships here? Eh, nothing special. Nothing special. I'm still looking for that really good hauler. I haven't found one yet. I want one that has. That just looks cool. Not one that just looks like a block like that one does. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I added a short range teleporter here. It's pretty cool. Really uh, nice for um, access to that portion of my base. Makes it really easy to transport there. Um, but that's it for this episode pretty productive in that. So, yeah. If you like this episode, hit that like button. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and of course share it. And yeah. Thanks for watching. If I'm getting stuck on chairs here. And I'll see you next time. Where's the... There's usually boxes. Oh, here we go. Here's some. Let's see what I get. Useful antimatter housing and navigation data. 
and condensed carbon. And nothing that special. I got plenty of navigation data because I don't use any of it. <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time.